pair of. Oh my gosh. There's three babies. One, two, three. Who's who? Reese, Royal, Ren. See, she doesn't need a hat because she's so hairy. <laughs> uh, Reese has so much hair, she doesn't need a hat. Royal, hi buddy. Boy, you just smile you just smiled and then you yeah. frowned. Ren. Hi Ren. Hi girlfriend. My heart is literally melting. How cute this is. Royal, you're in it with your sisters. Reese, you smile too. Reese, hi. Hi, sweet girl. Ren. Can I see a smile? They're wearing clothes. Reese, you have clothes on. Like a real baby. So the newborn stage. <laughs> okay, we are ready to go in. <laughs> this brings back so many memories. Like I'd always come and I would park right here and I would wear this coat and I'd get out of the car and it was freezing cold. Yeah, this is and insane we'd be like, memories. Go on in, big daddy. Emma, do you know what time it is? What time is it? Where's Jack Jack? You already found him? Oh my goodness. How did I get him back down here? You How? found him so fast. How did I get him back down? I don't know. I think he's up there because we never put our star up. So now he's trying to be our star. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe you have to climb the tree. We don't mean to climb on the tree. What do you mean to do a big ladder? Oh, that's a good idea. Come on, yes, go climb one. Okay. Daddy, you can stack that up on the tree. Is your big ladder? The, the, the Grinch. The winner is. Where are you? Christmas. Why can't I find you? Okay, this last one, I made it very difficult. Not a lot of people got it, which that's good, but still people got it. All right, Kara, first one that you see, ready? <gasps> um, timestamp. The winner is C.R. Ramesh Kumar. C.R. Ramesh Kumar. You know the drill. Email us, get paid. Unless you're not the winner. Yeah, if you don't win, don't email us. Well, you can still email you us. Can email you can email us. You won't get paid unless you're the winner. Just don't email us to get paid. We love you guys. <laughs> Happy searching. <laughs> we are taking a bunch of things to the NICU that the babies stayed in. A lot of the stuff are things that the babies used or that Gemma's used. And then we also have some that were donated to us to take to the NICU. So we ha are going to be taking we'll a bunch of- some of it. Yeah, a bunch of swaddles. Like if anyone recognizes this swaddle, it means you watch the birth vlog. This is the very first swaddle that we ever put with Royal. And it was his like birth announcement picture. So we have a bunch of swaddles in here. This whole box is full of them. 
These are all burp cloths. These are like wow, my favorite ones. So many. My friend made these. They're so good. But we have bibs. All these bibs. Some changing pads that were given to us. A Sophie that we never use. Sophie the dream. We have so many Sophies. Even Pia has one. Pia has her own. Some little Love Crush crowns. These are the ones that we didn't end up using. So someone can use them for newborn pictures once their little babies come home. Or even in the NICU, they could use them. I have a bunch of teethers that I found that we had never used. Those are brand new. All of these little headbands and little turbans for teeny tiny preemie heads. Some little shoes. We have some even little Christmas bow. Oh, I should one. go through their bows. I have a lot more bows. Pacifier clips from a bunch of really cute companies that we didn't end up using. Shoes. And then, oh my gosh, this is gonna make me cry. Preemie clothes. Oh. This was like one of their first things from Love Baby. Little miracle. We're still working with Love Baby and now they're getting their 12 to 18 month clothes. Like so crazy. Another one of our favorites, little baby breeze. Gemma even wears these. these they all so still teeny. wear these, oh so they're like so small. The Love Baby paint ones. Remember these, Derek? We had them in like every the paint, color. Yep, the speckled paint. <laughs> We had this in every color. We also have like every color of Baby Breeze too. So cute. These were Gemma's when she was a baby. I remember the collar. Yeah, this the little collar. It'd always be up on her it's roll. It's like a little blade collar. And so cute. This was also Gemma's so when she was a baby. So many memories in these boxes. But these are just newborn. But a lot of times when babies go home from the NICU, they're starting to be in newborn size clothing. Our little Goosebump Christmas pajamas. They wore these in their All I Want is a Silent Night picture that I posted for oh, Christmas last year. I remember year. the video we did of that on the bed. Some preemie oh, diapers. Oh my gosh, let me see these. Guys, <laughs> what in the heck? They actually fit in these Those at were one like point. big on them. They were, they were like big. big. It's so crazy. These teeny cute diapers, oh my gosh. So we're stoked to take all this stuff over to the NICU. We're going to the same exact one that the triplets were in. So it's gonna feel like super nostalgic as we go in there and give them all the stuff that our These babies, some of them, stuff that they Love wore, baby. but most of it's brand new. I'm pretty sure that the NICU, they don't use them while they're in the NICU, right? They have their own specific ones? No, the swaddles. They uh, use the hospital swaddles the most, so they're probably, with the swaddles, they'll probably give them to families that are taking babies home right. and can use swaddles. But the clothing, especially the preemie ones, they will cut the little hole in the foot, you know? Oh yeah. And the they'll thing. use them on the babies and that's how they like stick the cords up in them. And that, that stuff. they'll probably just send home with people too who are leaving the NICU. Yeah, we just want them to give it to mom, families that go through the NICU because we know how expensive it is when you go through there. And of course no one plans to have their babies in the NICU. So it's like pretty unexpected a lot of the times. Expensive, so that stuff can be put to good use. We're excited to give it. given away, just good to like, Give it back. It's good to give back. <laughs> it goes with the little miracle pajamas. So we're gonna head over to the NICU to drop all this stuff off, but on our way there, we're gonna stop and grab a bunch of treats to give to all of the NICU staff because that's my jam. I love doing that kind of stuff and getting cute things put together. And when I had Gemma, I took a whole basket and like my room was like the treat room. But with the triplets, I was so overwhelmed and everything was crazy and exhausting. I never did it. And I like still feel bad about it. So I want to give them all treats. I know, she's literally a year ago. We're like, let's take the nurses a bunch of treats. So we're doing it. It's just a year later. Things have settled down. Yes. <laughs> the triplets have calmed down. No, more like not calmed down, but. The triplets are sleeping more and eating less. Yes, there we go. They're asleep right now. So grandma and grandpa are gonna stay here. They're wrapping Christmas gifts. Look at those busy bees. <laughs> All right, Kara, this, this box is wider than you, so. You're strong, you work out. Kara, come on. <gasps> Can right. someone drop it? I can pull the muscle in the back, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> he really did pull a muscle the other day. Poor guy. Tarjay, a NICU nurse's best friend. Snickers? Actual Snickers, like yeah, it's usually one there's piece. like. 20 different ones in here. This is a solid. Solid Snickers. Dude, dude. Wow, I did not know you could dress up your elf on a shelf into different outfits. Kara, that's just adding a whole layer of expense. <laughs> I don't want to participate in. So we are getting the thank you card and then all of these boxes of candy. And we also wow. got jewelry wrapped ones so we can just dump them all in the bottom of the basket. Then we'll have the big ones sticking out the top and the thank you note, Derek. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> We're go. running into people. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I just saw the hottest guy here. Hey, it's not good. <laughs> I'm married. Four kids. It's so 
Hey, but you know what? Come here, look. Restocked on the kombucha. If you guys are just trying out kombucha right now, start with those. The pineapple peach is my favorite. You will not go wrong. You will not be disappointed. This is a new favorite. That's the most interesting Target checkout I've ever seen. Tons of kombucha and candy. What? Must be headed to the Nikki. Yes, we are. Mm, yes, we is. Good. As Jen would say, we is. No, she would say I are. I are. Yes, I are. Yes, I are. But today, she said, yes, I am. Listen to her catch herself. It's really sad. <laughs> no, she's growing up. Yes, I am. I got a treat. Plethora of treats there. Kara is just writing her novel over here. JK Rowling. <laughs> Make it special. Um, dear Nikki staff. Dear Nikki staff. <laughs> we need some light. No, you have some perfect light right there. Mm -hmm. Perfect right. moonlight. Write it in the moonlight, babe. Okay. Hey, we are ready to go in. <laughs> we we stuffed it loaded full. this. So we decided to not take them out of the packages, the like individually wrapped ones, because yeah. we don't want them to think like we're gross and trying to poison them or something. <laughs> yeah, like if <laughs> someone like them. you know trick or treating and you get Hershey kisses, like don't eat those. Like those, they're not even sealed. Therefore, we decided to leave them all in, but that posed a problem. It wouldn't Hardly fit. Bit. So we loaded it. There. Looks cute. <laughs> now he's gonna grab the, the big stuff. The heavy stuff. This brings back so many memories. Like I'd always come and I would park right here and I would wear this coat and I'd get out of the car and it was freezing cold. Yeah, this is and insane we'd be like, memories. I'd be like trying to hurry and get out of my car to get inside and like hurry inside, but I couldn't really walk because of my C-section. So I'd be like freezing cold and when your body's tense, it makes it hurt even more. Every single day, multiple times a day for a month, we made this walk. And watching parents walk out, we like, we know what oh they're feeling. Oh my gosh, we just saw a dad leave and it yeah, was like, like, oh, there's a NICU dad. So sad. He's probably like, you just like feel baby, so bad for them. Having a baby in the NICU is Not fun. bittersweet. They're so you cute. You know that they're getting help and best care that they can get, but it still is like so hard and so hard to leave them. And I kind of have like PTSD coming here right now. Go on in, big daddy. They were painting this when our babies were here. Hi. And now it's finished. We come bearing gifts. Our babies were here a year ago. Don't um, um, get too many cavities. There's so a lot of candy. I know. I know that you guys have a lot of your own swallows and stuff that you use, but they said if we brought them, that maybe they would just give them to parents that are going home and stuff. So these are all swaddles and burp cloths and bibs and even like, just like Sophie. All clothes. A lot of them. There he goes. Muscle man of the hour. These, <laughs> this is a straight nostalgia. This sink right here? Derek. This sink haunted me. <laughs> <laughs> the longest five minutes of my life. I remember. And so if you hear <laughs> the alarm going off, Derek just set off all the alarms. I'm sorry. The door says, do not push. Alarm will sound. Seriously, you pushed it and it just alarm went off. But Kara, that is crazy. Being in there again. I know. I so, what are your thoughts being back in the NICU? I'm glad our babies are home. I know. I'm glad. Good job. Get it. I just got a spray tan and got back in my pajamas. <laughs> okay, I feel like so, you... I'm a little glossy, that's why. She... Oh. Yeah, don't touch me. Don't don't smudge my tan. <laughs> Dude, you live in those pajamas. It's a great find, these Tis pajamas. Tis the season. It is the season to be jolly. But we just got back from the NICU. That was actually really fun. I enjoyed going back there, and I feel like all that stuff that we gave them would be put to good use. There was like a lot of good stuff there, and they were like going through it all, and they're like, oh yeah, we could definitely give that stuff away. You might have given them too many treats. <laughs> Once we took it in, I was like, I know. this is kind of embarrassing. I had to tell her, much. like, hey, make those last like until next year. <laughs> Sorry that there's so many. We hate to tempt you. They're going to be hungry and there's nothing there to eat except for those. They're going to be like, those chat wins. Darn those chat ones. Attitude of gratitude, day 24. Week. Christmas. Can you just please say Christmas here with me? Well, <laughs> Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. Oh, yeah, I can't touch her. There you go. Attitude of gratitude. Today we are thankful for the NICU and doctors and nurses and the NICU. everyone there because without the NICU, our babies would not be here. If we did not have the NICU and modern technology and doctors and nurses that cared for them, they would not have made it. Yeah. 
Like when we like pull, really sad to think about that. Like they, they wouldn't have made it. Yeah. As we pulled up, I said to Kara, like this place is just like amazing because they just keep babies alive and they have like so much knowledge and people that, you know, studied for years and years and years so that in those situations they can care for our babies. They know exactly what to do. We have no idea what we're doing. We just are in good hands in the NICU. And even before they were in the NICU, like I went into preterm labor at 24 weeks. Yeah. They gave me sh a shot that made it stop. Like if I didn't go in and get a shot, I like would have had the babies at 24 weeks. That's even. the like craziest like thought too. So crazy. You we are so, so lucky. So lucky that she didn't have a Scary night. pregnancy. So scary having tiny babies. But like I knew we were going to have NICU time from the second I found out I was having triplets. It was like, okay, so you're going to have them early and they're going to be in the NICU and they'll come home around their due date. So it was always like part of the plan. So it made it less scary, but it's still leaving your babies after you just had them, you've been carrying them and then leaving them is like traumatic. That pregnancy scarred me. The NICU was a good experience for us. And all the people we saw in there, we feel for you. NICU nurses, we love you guys. Hopefully you felt a little bit about that love tonight. We need to bring the babies in there to say hi to everybody. I know, we actually should. Except for they can't. because There's a bunch of rules, which is good. <laughs> we can bring them to the waiting room. My shout out goes to Life of the Mercados. That's their name on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your guys' support. We love you guys. Thanks for being part of the chat fam, our family. <laughs> our family's growing every day and you guys are a part of it. We love you. And my shout out goes to Jade Ferrara. Jade. Jade, that's Gemma's, Gemma's best bestie. Friend. Thanks, Jade, for being Thanks, part Jade. of the chat fam. We love you. Much love. Can I always hold your finger? We're holding fingers. Happy Christmas Eve. May all of you remember what this day is truly about. We thank Heavenly Father every day for the life that he's blessed us with. And we hope that he blesses you guys tonight and this upcoming year. I hope 2020 coming up is the best year of your life. It's going to be the best year of my life. I don't know why, but it's Baby number year. five. <laughs> don't touch me. Don't touch me. Headbutt. Where else the headbutt music? Yeah. Until tomorrow. Christmas day. We didn't plan this, we're gonna do a dance, ready? See if you can copy me. Ready, go. We love you guys. Good night.